All right, welcome back. So we are returning from Lowe's. Um, I decided to start the camera up because this was the rain that, um, that I was looking for, although it died down as soon as I started recording. But in any case, it, it did miss its exit. Um, I don't know if it was because of the heavy rain, probably, <laughs> but it missed its exit and now it's kind of readjusting. Um, to get back on course here, which is fine. Um, other than missing the turn, it still seems to handle the condition just fine. This was so much more exciting before I pushed uh, record. But anyway, bear with me. Uh, we've got a short drive here. Yield to oncoming traffic. We do have oncoming traffic. And now we don't. How about that? Another perfect execution. We'll be taking a ride up here. Oh, I've got low battery. That's fine. I wonder if it'll continue recording. That's fine. If our battery survives, maybe we can do the auto park in the garage test when we get home. I have zero confidence. That's why I just bought um, some of this yellow duct tape. <laughs> We'll see if that does the trick. I don't know. Stay tuned for more videos on that. We will get it to work. I, I don't care if I have to hire a crew to come out there and paint a parking lot. In my, it's happening. It is going to happen. Little Red Bull. Don't mind if I do. I got it. I'm aware. Thank you. Low battery. That's a warning that I never saw on the uh, GoPro because it would die before the battery did. <laughs> Sorry, GoPro. Hey, if you're with GoPro and you see this video, like hit me up because I'm genuinely, maybe it's me. It's, it's not, it's not a defective camera because I, well, I suppose it's possible, but I, I did take the first one I bought. This is the Hero Black 13 and I took it back and exchanged it for a brand new one. And it's just the same kind of problems. Overheating, uh, even without the battery, it'll randomly just, I, I think it, uh, if I remember correctly, something to do with the file system on the SD card, which shouldn't be, a, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the SD. So an error of some kind occurred, maybe writing to the SD card and the camera just randomly shut off in the middle of recording. But at the end of the day, just not a useful solution for me. And I'm curious if, if other people are having the same experience, because I'll tell you what, I. I've never been an action camera guy, but he, uh, GoPro has done such a good job marketing. I wasn't even aware that there was like a competitive market there. I, I was not aware of other cameras. So when it came time for me to buy an action camera, I went and bought a, a GoPro. So good job there. Uh, but then, man, I was just completely underwhelmed by the way that camera performed. Not a fan at all. Uh, but hey, I'm open to learning more. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there are accessories I can buy, like a cooling fan, which I shouldn't have to, but like help me understand how GoPro is the market leader and in my opinion, just a far inferior product. Because so far this Insta360 Ace Pro 2 has been uh, flawless. It makes really great videos. If you look at my the videos on my channel, like all five of them, because I'm just getting started, but all of them except for this one and the one we just made going to Lowe's. Anyway, most of them are done with the GoPro. So you can you can compare and contrast. And if there's interest, I'll even I'll even go back in the video and, and say which one was recorded with which so that you can view and give me your opinion. Okay, cool. So we have a car in front of us who doesn't know whether or not they want to actually turn. And they do, fantastic. But hey, the good news is the Tesla was like, cool, we'll just deal with it. And it did. All right, so we're pulling into the neighborhood here. I'm gonna take control um, because the Tesla does not know how to go uh, behind my house the way that I want it to. If you know how to do that, let me know. That's my true, like, the place I want it to go is in the garage, which is behind the house. And it doesn't do that. It likes to take me to the front of the house. 
anyway, so we're going to roll up in the alley here and we're testing two things right now. One is, did my MyQ error get resolved? I think it may have because when I closed it, it seemed to clear whatever situation it had. So maybe we'll get to demonstrate how MyQ works when I get home. And then the second thing we're looking for is, will the Tesla pick up the parking lines in the garage and auto park in the garage? We'll see. So I'm not seeing my queue yet. There it is, and it's it's going to work. So I've got it set to 20 feet, I think. And we're gonna stop right here and back up. And it should open it once we get up a little closer to it, which is just another one of those really cool things that you didn't know you would appreciate your car doing for you. So I just heard the chime and look at, there it goes. So it. It automatically opens the garage door. And as we pull in here, will it see the parking spot? No, 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 no. Nope, it's not going to see it. And that's fine. I, I will solve for that. I promise. But, but the good news is, and I mentioned this in another video, the lines still help me a lot. Like I, I don't have to really think about it. I just know to line it up. I know that based on where they are, I'm not going to hit my mirror on the, the wall. I'm not going to hit my wife's beautiful car, although not as good as a Tesla. Um, I know where I'm backing up. I know I can get out. Everything just works really well. So it's not a terrible solution. In any case, uh, that's going to conclude our awesome rainy drive. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.